is what it do, man. It's your boy, Evan Doug, Doug and Shwab, CSR Promotions all day, every day. Um, continuing the t topic, why an Orlando rapper hasn't blown up. Um, this is part three. In part three, we have the one and only Rec Regular. Rec Regular, man. The In Crowd Productions, man. Shout out to the Astro Kids and everybody affiliated, man. Shout out to MOE, Chopper Young City, everybody I deal with, man. You know what it is. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, like I told you, this, um, the topic is why an Orlando rapper hasn't blown up. Mm -hmm. So, you mind telling the audience why an Orlando rapper hasn't blown up well, I think from it's, your point of view? My well, point of view, uh, I have a couple DJs that deal with me, man. It's, uh, I think sometimes the artist doesn't establish a relationship with the DJ. I think a lot of DJs here want to establish a relationship with you, you know what I'm saying, see you out, you know what I'm saying, hear your record, see what's going on. But a lot of times I think like the artist feels like, fuck you, play me, and the DJ feels like, fuck you, pay me. So it's like a standoff, like, all right, you got to give me money for this. And then, it, and then, you know, the artist is like, kind of like, I'm not paying you to spend a record, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a standoff. And then what happens is nothing. It's no progress. So it's, it kind of just stays still. And then we just get stuck and nothing progresses. What you just said about the DJs, can you tell me some DJs that you have a record with? Who are your, who shows you love? Oh, man. Um, give me some of the names. DJ uh, Scream, All Pro, Elements, Greg G. Disco, they played my stuff at Cleo's a couple of times, man. Shout out to them. Um, I'm missing out some DJs I know. Uh, 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 what's the uh, DJ the DJ? Yeah, he did my he did his thing. He played a couple of my records a couple of times. Um, Disco and Disco Junior, I know I didn't mention them. Um, that's about it, man. They play a couple of records. They show love, man. Okay, so with these DJs you just mentioned, and it's, it's a funny thing because Gemstar, we just interviewed Gemstar. Mm -hmm. He said basically the same names you said. Mm -hmm. What? What, what, with your relationship with them, can you elaborate, like, the kind of conversations you guys have with them, or how, how, how does it go? Because a lot of times, these artists go up to the DJs, hey, 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 yeah, play, my stuff, like, play my stuff, play my stuff, play my stuff. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't you, work like you that. You cannot be very aggressive. It's like talking to a girl. It's like, yeah. You got to compliment them on something, but you can't be too aggressive. So explain to me, like, how, how would you approach a DJ, and what, what, what can separate you from the other artists that need to get... For, for them to at least listen to it and then get to that level where they can spit it early in the club because mm -hmm. your record let's, let's face it all, all records have to start early they have to start so early so go ahead and tell like about what you tell the do. audience what it is man what you gotta do honestly go to these DJ sets man take some time out your day or take your time out your night go to their sets listen to the type of music they play because a lot of times with DJs if they can't mix your music into their set they're not gonna play it because you know their job is to keep the crowd hype honestly and if you have a song that kind of is off whack or doesn't match what they're trying to do, they're not going to play the record. So you got to be an artist and you got to be open. You got to have a number of records. You can't just have one hit. You got to have a number of hits. So, okay, say you got a record for the Cleo's Cloud. You got to have music for the Cleo's Cloud. I said Cloud. I mean, crowd, I mean. You know what I'm saying? So you got you to gotta go in. You got to have a record for that crowd. You got, like Antiquas. You got to have a record for Antiquas. They just played it. They played it on a record tonight. Uh, I produced for... Um, for Stefan, it's called Boom. That's a record for that crowd. It's kind of like a dance. And who's record. the DJ that's funny? Uh, Elements. Okay, so you guys are all noticing that there's a trend going on right now. All pro, uh, all pros DJ DJ Elements. He's showing a lot of love. So with Gemstar and now Rec telling you to go to DJ Elements, there's obviously a trend. So everybody that's watching these interviews, look, DJ Elements is showing this love off the Scream off the too. Scream showing deep Scream's love. Scream's like been doing it for a while too, guys. So mm -hmm. Scream just recently got came to All Pro. So these are the guys that you all need to go to, and and and, and build a rapport and relationship with them. It's so it's so detrimental right now. It's important because you can't start like a lot of people. They try to blame like the big DJs like. DJ Nasty and DJ, uh, like I say, uh, Scream, you know, DJ All Pro. But you can't blame them. You have to start at the pro bottom. Style. Yeah, Pro Style. I'm sorry. <laughs> pro Style. I don't, I'm always getting that guy's name wrong. But, like, you got to start at the bottom, honestly. You can't just start at the top and want to get your record straight to them. You got to start at the bottom. You got to start to these DJs that try, that's aspires to be these big DJs. Because they're, they're the next generation of DJs coming in the city. So it's only smart to go after them instead of going after the people that are already on. Eventually, it trickles up. And then they hear your record, and they pick it up, and they play it, and then you on. And then your record's getting played. Then it's on you to just promote your record and keep it going and have something going on like a mixtape or have a campaign going on, something going on. So that's the way I think it works, man. I'm working on it, you know? And what I want to add first is when you come with a mixtape, mm -hmm. it's, it's very integral to have that first song because once you get them on the first song, okay, let me go check out Rex, other uh, his mixtape. Exactly. Now, let's go back to what you just mentioned. You have a song for Cleo's. Can you tell us what the song you have for Cleo's? This song is called Get It, and it's featuring Soldier Boy. I have a relationship with Soldier Boy. I did a couple of tracks on or whatever, you know, so. It's, this song is called Get It, 
we did it with, you know what I'm saying, we did it like in Atlanta this summer. I moved to Atlanta for a summer or whatever, you know, just to check out the music scene. And they play it like, they don't, it's not like, don't expect a DJ to keep playing it and keep playing it because it's not hot yet, you know, they're just being introduced to the record. They're going to play it when they can play it and that's it. You got to appreciate that because at first you wouldn't get to play it at all. So when he played it and I got the reaction, then he was like, yo, I'm going to put it in my set. And I was like, that's what it is. I don't expect him to play it every set, but you got to understand, DJ has to keep switching his set up. So don't expect him to play a record every single set, where eventually they do play the record. Okay, what he just mentioned, he has a relationship with Soldier Boy. If you guys don't know, Soldier Boy is, is so big. And just, just we were also promoting a guy named Brick Boy who has, who has a record with uh, OJ the Juice Man. Mm -hmm. Whether he paid for it or not, the point is, these, these major artists are on an independent artist track mm -hmm. so with your relationship with soldier boy as you guys all know that can help the record out so mm -hmm. again he has a relationship with it you guys got to go out there you guys can't be shy and, and ask your people to uh, ho go ahead and holler at um, soldier boy it has to be you you're gonna have to step in and have that relationship mm -hmm. because let's just face it everybody else has their own agendas to take care of and it's you know a lot of people can't talk to soldier boys and all yeah. that so you gotta what you gotta do honestly you got to network out like, I mean, Orlando is a city where we at. This is where we based at. This is where we make our music at. This is where we get it played at. But you can't be afraid to go to these other cities and network. These music conferences in these other cities, they be popping. Everybody shows up. For some reason, everybody just shows up to the one in Atlanta, you know. Everybody might not show up to the one here. Don't look at all the music conferences the same way. Because you go to the one in Atlanta, everybody shows up. You make that contact. As a producer, too, I'm a producer, too. That puts me in, in a lot of in a lot of situations where I can I can have the advantage where I can like okay look you can take this track do whatever you want to it and then you know I have that relationship like okay jump on this track or I need clearance for this sample or whatever and it works like that it may not be money a lot of people focus on money too it may not be money I may not make anything off of it but now I can call them and be like okay I can get a free sample or I can get a free clearance I don't have to worry about getting sued Correct. or something crazy like that for a record I'm trying to push and it works like that so that's the relationship I built with them. When I, when I gave him that track, he was like, okay, that's what it is. It didn't make the Soldier Boy tell him album, but it made his mixtape. And once it made his mixtape, they we continued the relationship. And I deal with SOD Money Gang like on a normal basis now. We're giving them tracks and putting it on their mixtapes or whatever. And then every time I need something, I call them. It may not be money. I don't call them for money. I call them for like, okay, I need clients for this sample or you all need any more tracks. And the relationship works like that. You know, they need something, I need something. We both help each other out. That's hey, basically how it works. Rack, man, thank you so much for... Um Giving your your, your 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 point of view about why an Orlando rapper hasn't blown up, mm -hmm. and your your point of view. Thanks uh, again. Just, um, no problem, man. Time. Here for you. <laughs> no time, man. Yep, that's what it is, man. Record. <laughs>